Hey guys, for today's vlog, I'm going to be showing you how to make an eight-sided ninja star or a shuriken. So let's get started. The resources you need are pretty simple, as you need a scale, a pencil to mark lines, a craft knife to cut the paper, or you can cut it bare-handed, depending on your choices. And last but not the least, eight A4 sheets, as Origami sheets are too small for this craft, so A4 sheets work the best for me. You can choose the size according to yourself. First, what you want to do is turn your rectangle A4 sheets into squares like these. And then fold them into halves. So it's easier for you to make folds when you... It's easier for you to make folds. Make a hard crease so the line is visible to you. When you're done with creasing the paper, open it up and you'll see this line over here in the middle. Fold, fold the edges through the paper till the line and crease them properly so they don't, the flaps don't open up. Fold both the sides properly so there's no intersecting in the middle like this. They all should be same. It's hard to make problems in this as Many people often intersect the parts which is not at all good as they're going to make your edges look terrible. So please don't make that mistake. After that your piece should end up like this. It's looking like a plane but then you're supposed to fold them in half and see if they connect together. When they do, you see this flap over here, right? Push it in. Try to attach these lines together. So I'll show you how to push it in again. There's the flap. You hold it. You push it in. You see these tiny little uh, edges over here. Try to attach them to get the best results. As if you don't want them to be messy at the end. Because they won't work out. Fold both the ends. And close it. It should look like a huge diamond. Sort of thing. So you will need 8 of these, so let's make them. And be sure while making the lines in the middle, you probably want to use a scale as they are hard in surface so they'll block your hands from making lines and from creasing the lines any other way. Be aware of this problem as if your paper goes wrong you'll have to use another one which will take a lot of time as you have to make them into squares. When you're done with your 8 pieces, you want to attach them like this, watch carefully. Take 2 of those 8 pieces. Place one over here. This is the opening flap. This is the closing one. The opening one is in the other end. Place it over here. Place it closely. And you see this excess. Fold it into this flap. So, I'll show you the step again. Take this opening flap. Take this closing one. Put it in here. these excess flaps put uh, fold them and put them in over here fold them like this put them in here so you want to do this with all of them so let me get all of them ready so as you can see I'm done with six of them but the last two are going to be the hardest as it's really close to each other so you want to be careful while putting them in and as you can see it's already getting tough to put to put even the seventh one in so once you're done with the seventh one make sure to get some space lock the sixth one in or lock the eighth one in place over here and lock it in with the sixth one first as the sixth one is not done properly it will fall off so be careful it doesn't fall off now as you can see it's kind of hard to join so make some space Make it slowly, open this flap up completely, let the, let the first one go in and it's really hard to merge it in now. So what you're supposed to do is close, is, you can see there's an opening between this blue paper and the pink paper. So you want to keep this flap in there, fold it in properly and shut it down so there's a crease and it won't open up once again. Do it with both the ends and now as you can see I've ended up with an octagon. So how do we make this into a ninja star? 
so first you're supposed to push the pieces backwards one by one you want to try them slowly as it will open up if you rush so try it slowly and once it opens don't just start throwing it away see if all of the borders are done clearly as they can open up at any time uh, because they are all weak folds you need to you need to staple or tape them permanently if you want to if you want them to stay there once you're done with fold uh, pushing all the sides you want to make sure that these flaps are not open and as you can see you're done with the eight sided ninja star or shuriken how